Continuing coverage now, a repeat drunk driver will spend two years in prison, three years on parole after hitting and nearly killing a 12-year-old girl in Falcon last summer. He was sentenced today in front of that little girl and her family. Arlena Howland was there, joins us with details. It was an extremely emotional afternoon in today's four hour sentencing hearing filled with many, many tears from the two teenage girls involved, as well as the suspect. The victim's families tell me they are relieved that it's over and their families happy for the most part with his sentence. I'm happy that I got to see him like be taken away because it was a lot of pain that I went through that I feel like he should have to go through. It's been eight months since Lainey Parsons was hit by a drunk driver as she was just walking home from getting ice cream with her best friend Rochelle in the middle of the day. We watched her basically be a prisoner for the entire summer and then some. So it did feel like a form of justice to see that. While Lainey spent nearly a week in the ICU with multiple broken bones, 33-year-old Chase Linnard spent a night in jail and has been walking free ever since until today. It was good, for, I think, for the girls to see him handcuffed and taken away. As we've reported, this was his third DUI offense. His first was 10 years before, but his second only a month prior in Cripple Creek, where his license was not suspended. Because he shouldn't have been on the road. The maximum sentence for his vehicular assault charge was six years. Instead, he got two. The judge citing his drunk driving seriously injuring Laney, leaving the scene of the accident, hitting a traffic sign, and then creating a SWAT standoff after barricading him himself inside of his home. It's not a probation alone type of offense. So we were happy even though it wasn't maximum. I agree that maybe a couple years and then hopefully he'll be able to really change his life. Leonard apologized to the girls and their families in tears moments before the sentencing. I went through a lot more than he will ever probably. So I don't really forgive him. But I guess it was nice to hear. While Lainey will have to go through another surgery in a year, both she and Rochelle believe they'll suffer emotional scarring for years to come. And they'll be dealing with it a lot longer than two years. Linnard will also have to pay court costs and restitution for the nearly $300,000 in medical bills. His family did not want to talk to us after the sentencing. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Lena Howland, News 5.